Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome to the Indigo Plateau. And more so, welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we headed through Victory Road, we, we finished Victory Road, and we got Moltres. It was just sitting there. And in this part, we're ready to fight the last four trainers of the game. We are ready to take down the Elite Four and claim our name as the best Pokemon trainer ever. Pretty much. Okay, so, now just before we start, I really should have used my PB ups. I have, I've just had the PB ups just sitting there, but I never used them. I'm going to use two of them on Grabber's Guillotine. I think you can only use a PB up three times per move. If I can keep using it, then I probably will, because I would like to use it. Yeah, you can only use it three times on each move. Um. Other than that, I was really annoyed because I looked it up and apparently elixirs and ethers are not viable anywhere in the game. Those are the only items that can recover the PP of any of your moves. And they you can't buy them. And I feel like I actually sold them at some point. No, I, I think I think I'm hold on to them, all of them. But it's just like, oh my goodness. Uh other than that, so let's let's look at our Pokemon for a moment. Uh I'm still an idiot, I missed something, Ah. Okay, so, just before we go in, here's a rundown of my party. Uh, I would like to edit the order in a bit, but... So first of all, we've got Jolteon. Jolteon is currently level 41. He knows Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, and Thunder now. I thought I thought Thunder would be nice to know, uh, over Thundershock, because I, I only kind of kept Thundershock, because I thought I would need to whittle down the health of the three legendary birds. And definitely, if I taught Thunderbolt, would kill them very easily. And yeah. Um. So yeah. So because there are no legendary birds, yeah. Teach them thunder. We have Pinsir. We have Grabo. He's got real good attack. I have basically maxed out the PP of Guillotine because that's always nice. He's also got Vice Grip, Seismic Toss, which will definitely come in handy if you can't deal too much damage against like really high defense Pokemon. And Strength. To be honest, I would have liked to give him another move, but unfortunately he doesn't really learn a lot of TMs, and I'm just gonna look him up right now. Yeah, he doesn't really learn a lot of really good stuff. Actually, he, he can learn Hyper Beam, but I feel like I don't have enough money for that now, and I really don't feel like going back to the slot machines. Uh, I would like to teach him Hyper Beam though, but maybe. Maybe later. Uh, we have Venusaur, he's level 42 right now. I have taught him Solar Beam, oh, I taught him Solar Beam a while ago. But I taught him Toxic over Poison Powder, because think about it, he's like the only guy who's poisoning. Uh, he also knows Razor Leaf, which always crits, and Mega Drain, which is always nice to have. Uh, we have Snoozu, the Snorlax, with really good attack. He knows Body Slam, Amnesia, Rest, and Strength. He's doing fine with that, pretty much. He might be better with Hyper Beam, but we never know. Uh, we've got Moopy, unfortunately he's not leveled up, but he's 9 levels away, but he's probably not going to get that in time. Uh, he knows Rap Slam, Fire Blast now. Yeah, I was just like, you know, Fire Blast would be good. And, uh, Dragon Rage. Um, so yeah. And finally, we have Clam Clam. Look at that defense. That is beautiful. Uh, he knows Surf, Withdraw, Ice Beam, and Blizzard now. Now, the biggest problem is that if you've got moves that don't have a lot of PP, you're going to need... You're going to want to use Ethers rather than Elixirs. Elixirs recover all the PP of the move. Actually, no, sorry. Elixirs recover all the moves, 10 PP, and the max, uh, whereas an Ether only recovers one move, 10 PP. And the max versions of those increase all the PP of that one move, or all the moves if it's an Elixir. Anyway, let us head in. I, I've delayed this long enough. Let's go in. So the first gym, uh, the first gym, yeah, good. Uh, the first trainer that we're going up against is Lorelei, which means it's an ice type person. Now, this is a bit of an awkward territory because clearly electric and water ice isn't gonna cut it. Moopy, I don't wanna use all of his, um, Fire Blast because all of these Pokemon, besides one, all five of, the uh, this person's Pokemon involve water. So it's just like, why would you do that? Uh, on top of that, I think Bubba has a better chance of doing this. That being said, he needs to survive, and also the level difference is a bit of a thing. But anyway, let's do this. 
I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. I am ready. One thing I, I think, after you play later Pokemon games, and say you're just like, oh yeah, the Elite Four don't play special music in this game. And they do in the trading card game, so therefore it counts. Although the trading card game came, like, a, just before, um, Golden Silver came out. So anyway, so this is, uh, Lorelei. Lorelei is an ice-type person, although all the Pokemon are also water-type except for the Jinx. Except for Jinx. This is why I was a little bit worried about Bubba. Now, I'm okay with my Pokemon dying, because I don't know if you saw my inventory, but I bought 50 full resources and 50 revives. And I'm not ashamed about that, because seriously, there's no point in, mu in uh, money after this. Seriously. It's like you really need to buy any items for competitive battle. Anyway, so... You, now is not the right time, Bubba! You have the best moves that ever. Kind of. Kind of best. Uh, so where we are. So, Lorelei has a Jugong, level 54, knows Growl, Aurora Beam, uh, Rest, and Take Down. Rest is gonna get annoying. If you were doing that. Uh, Mega Drain, because I'm gonna need a bit of health. Mega Drain doesn't really do the most damage, but... It's handy. Unless you Aurora Beam me again, in which case, stuff you. Stuff you Cloyster. Stuff you Cloyster. This Cloyster knows uh, Supersonic Clamp, Aurora Beam, and Spike Cannon. Glad it didn't use Supersonic, at least. Now, because I bought 50 full restores, don't be afraid to actually use your full restores. That gives you... There are five battles ahead. That gives you ten per battle. Which is plenty. Now, uh... The Slowbro, actually, is one of the easier things. So, I'm gonna use one of my full restores. I actually have spare full restores from before as well, so... Don't be afraid to use full restores. And plus, there's not really any point in buying full restores, or in buying max potions to set full restores. Because to be honest, it's it's handy to just have one item. Max potions technically are cheaper, so you can buy about 60 of them rather than 50, but there's not really much point. Uh, this slow bro knows water gun, growl, withdraw, and amnesia. I think he's basically here to stall you. Growl, withdraw are just mean, and amnesia is supposed to, you know, up his special, so. Uh, and then he's got Water Gun, so he's gonna kind of troll you. But to be honest, he's not that bad, because Water Gun. And also, if you keep getting crits, there's no point. Uh, now he's... Now Lorelai's gonna send out Jinx. Now Jinx is Ice-type. Uh, Ice-Psychic, even. Uh, so this is why I think... I would like to send out Moopy, but I don't know. I'll send out Moopy. Moopy, can you redeem yourself? Uh, so this Jinx knows Double Slap, Ice Punch, Body Slam, and Thrash. Ice Punch and Body Slam can do, can deal, uh, Freeze and, um, Freeze and, uh, Paralysis, which is kind of annoying. Also, Ice Attacks. Why did I do that? Grabbo, you can do this. I know you're 15 levels too weak, but your 1 AKO moves are too strong. Oh, okay. That would've been awesome, that hit. Now, this is my problem. I, I'm extremely underleveled, as you can see. Like, that... That wasn't even, like, a crit or anything. Or even super effective, and that's... Really defeating my Pokémon, which kinda sucks. Uh, Speed V. You can do this. Holy snap. By the way, save before every battle. Just because, yeah, there you go, there's Thunder. Thunder is a bit hard to hit, but oh my gosh, it hits hard. And by the way, yeah, I'm 15 levels underneath. I thought you'd, I'd like to... Uh, by the way, there's no weather effects in this game, but in later games, uh, if it's raining, and you use Thunder, it always hits. And that is actually a, a really good technique. Good on you, Speed V. Took out that Jinx. Easy. So there you go. Speed Boots deserves a level for that. Uh, so here's a Lapras. Uh, this Lapras knows Body Slam, Confuse Ray, Hydro Pump, and Blizzard. It is the powerhouse of her team. This is why I'm gonna use Razor because I really don't trust myself. 
I know I should be using Solar Beam, but I, I trust myself using Rise of more. You know, that was, like, look at this. Blizzard is painful as heck. Then, then again, this is super effective and also he's 13 levels above me, so. I, I, I am actually really worried that I'm extremely under level for this. Like, extremely under level. Oh. Duh, this is a stupid, stupid potion. Thunderbolt. Well, anyway, that was Lorelei. By the way, there's still four more battles. Double kick. Uh. I can see why you want to learn double kick. But I don't really think you should learn it. Because I would prefer quick attack, because. Especially if I'm slower. If I'm slower than you, I don't really want to learn that. Really? How dare you! Ooh, the duel. Yeah, I am better than you thought. Okay. Okay. Now, between battles. You always want to use your regular revives, and then use like a max potion or something. So for example, I'm going to use my regular revives and I'm going to recover... Like seriously, I got 50 revives and I'm only really needing 3 right now. Don't be afraid of using like mid-battle. Like really, don't, don't be afraid. Because this is the end of the game. And if you're really worried... Then you're kind of stuffed if you save like way early. I mean, I mean, I guess you're okay if you lose because you just lose money and you just spend all of it. So it's not like you can get these items better anywhere else. So yeah, now I will be doing two battles apart, and by two battles apart, I mean there's only there's five battles. So technically, I'll be doing two battles this part, and then three battles next part. Once I should I do three battles? I should, do, I should do three battles this part, actually, because they're kind of uneventful, uneventful, these first few. Now, this guy, Bruno is actually one of the easier, um, one of the easier guys, to be honest. I don't think he's that bad. Uh, this is why I'm gonna use Bubba again. I really should use, like, Grabber and stuff. But I feel like Bubba will be better, because, like, because Onyx is. Okay, so anyway, let's do this. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained my, my Pokemon. B and Dale, we will grind you down with our superior power. Wow. Okay. So here's Bruno. He's supposed to be a fighting guy, I think. Well, he's got Onyx. Uh, so firstly, uh, he, his Onyx has Rock Throw, Rage, Slam, and Harden. Going first, I don't know how. I guess it's because he's, you know, Onyx. He's not the fastest thing ever. Plus, if you can get a good Razor Leaf or something on him, you're pretty much all set. Now, I say he's a fighting guy because he has two Onyxes, but he's got three fighting sides, so I guess the majority wins. Uh, now, he's got Hitmonchan. Uh, let's see, who would be best for this Hitmonchan? Uh, I wouldn't want to send a normal type out because they get kind of annihilated. Uh, Possibly Grabo. Possibly. Possibly Moopy. Clam Clam. Definitely. Definitely. The physical defense is probably going to be the best part about this. Okay, uh, Clam Clam. He's Surf, because I don't really know what else he is. Uh, so this Hitmonchan knows Ice Punch, Mega Punch, Thunder Punch, and Counter. Counter, fortunately, I think only works if it's a physical attack. I'm not 100% sure. It does in later games, but I don't know what it does in this first gen. Seriously, the first gen does a lot of weird stuff. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about that Hitmonchan, because he's got the type advantages right there. Uh, now, he's got Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee has Jump Kick, Focus Energy, High Jump Kick, and Mega Kick. So he likes kicking. Uh, but to be honest, I think we're okay. I am so under leveled, oh my gosh! What am I doing? 
What is he doing? He keeps using items when he really shouldn't be using items. He went first, he used focus energy. Should he try and attack me? I don't even know. In fact, I don't think he has hit me. Okay, now he's bringing out another Onyx. It's the same moves as the other Onyx, it's just level 56 this time. Uh, it knows Rock Throw, Rage, Slam, and Harden. If you're okay with that, then you're cool with this. If only they were all Rock Type. The thing is that Rock Type has like a lot of weaknesses, so. Or more so the Ground Rock. And finally, he's gonna send out Machamp. Holy snap, Machamp. Have we ever seen Machamp? No, we haven't. Basically, it's the evolution of uh, Machoke when you trade it. Uh, we'll keep going with Clamp Clamp, because Clamp Clamp has got this. Now this Machamp knows Leer, Focus Energy, Fissure, and Submission. Submission's a kind of strong fighting attack. Fissure will kill you. Hands down. I'm glad Blizzard just hit that first time. Submission, oh sorry, Fissure will kill you. And look at that, look at that, I just used Blizzard, and that barely did much damage. I know, Ice is a physical type. Because if Surf does more damage, then that means yes. Yeah. Oh no, it's crit. He's using next pen. Uh, I feel like I should have not won that. Really? Because legit, this guy de never hit me. He kept using like a lot of X defense. Okay. Well, just let the entire game go like this, and we'll be all set. And then you kept using your X defense. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Seriously, look at my Pokemon! I didn't get hit! Bruno never attacked me! Or I think he did once, but it missed. Holy snap, I don't even know how that worked. Okay. Save. Okay. So Agatha is now the next, uh, person of the Elite Four. We've already done two of them, so... Shouldn't be that bad. Uh, now Agatha specializes in Ghost-type Pokemon. And by Ghost-type... She means poison type, because she has two poison types on the team. So if you've got psychic types, you can wipe them out really easily. However, I think this is Speed V's chance to shine, just because Speed V's got really good special, and... Yeah. Snoozu, I'm sorry. Your time will come. And same will you, Moopy. Same will you. Okay, so, anyway, I feel like we got this pretty much. I am Agatha, the Elite Four. You know, this clearly on him. Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, Triarch. That old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was a decade ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. Pokemon are for fighting? But they're dead. Well, yours are. Yours are. Some of them are. Agatha looks a bit creepy, though. Okay, so Agatha, again, five Pokemon. Now, she has Gengar. Gengar is the evolution of Porter when you trade it. Ugh. I, I know, they're chucking out the trade Pokemon now. Um... I've used Thunder a bit, so I'm just gonna stick with Thunderbolt. I got this. Hip, maybe. Hypnosis. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so this Gengar knows Confuse Ray, Nightshade, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. Confuse Ray, that's gonna get annoying. Okay, thank goodness, we got rid of the Gengar. One of them. By the way, this is why I keep quick attack, so that I don't have to go, I don't have to do this, but the problem is that you're, you're not, you're, uh, stuff you. Stuff you. I don't need that. What? Oh my gosh. Stop doing 50 health. Do like more. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Nightshade's a bit of a troll attack, by the way. It makes the screen all squiggly. And it does quite a bit of damage. Thunderbolt. Because I really need a Thunderbolt with that much health left. Okay, Speed V, I think that's okay from you. Well, the problem is that they're poison type, so I can't really do anything else with... Actually... Golbat! He's flying. Ugh! The Sprite! Okay, so this Golbat knows Super Thorn, Confused Way... Confused Ray, Wing Attack, and Haze. I think Haze is just an accuracy move. But he's flying type, so seriously, just use an electric type attack. Or if you want, use a psychic type. Thank goodness that worked. Oh my gosh. And thank you for leveling up, because I really appreciate that. Now he's gonna send oh she's gonna send a haunter this time. Um Who's gonna be good for the haunter? 
See, not Grabber, because Grabber's got way too many normal type attacks. All those, uh, 1 8 KO moves and, uh, Seismic Toss actually do hit ghosts. In fact, I should use it on her other Gengar, because look at that, it's a little sexy. Yeah. Uh, Ice Beam. Dream Eater, good job, your strategy work. Uh, this Horner knows Confuse Ray, Nightshade, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. It's the exact same moveset as both of the other Gengars. Uh oh. Santa Arbok. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. Uh, the Arbok has Bite, Glare, Screech, and Acid. I think Glare is just a. Glare is a paralyzed move. That, that's kind of annoying. This is why I have my full resource, because it's just like I don't feel like. Well, I've, I've got a full heal in my bag, so I might as well use that. So yeah, so she's not too bad, it's just that it gets a bit annoying, because there's a lot of random normal type attacks, you know? Uh, I got this. Uh, Ice Beam. Okay, seriously, you, your priorities are not the right way around. You shouldn't run into battle with... With freaking... There you go, that's your strategy. If you want, you can use hypnosis, but you can't use it now. Fun fact, you can't change an enemy's status condition. It never works. Uh, the only way you can change a status condition is through rest. And you can't make an opponent use rest. And so our final Pokemon is Gengar. Same moveset. Confused Rain Nightshade Toxic. Oh, oh snap, it has Toxic. Not Hypnosis, sorry. It doesn't have Hypnosis though, so... It can't exactly use Dreamy though effectively, but okay. Now I'm gonna send out Grabo, because I want to see how this works. Or if I want, I could really use Gillisane, but... Uh, I want to see Seismic Toxic. Oh, god, Toxic. Toxic is a move that de badly poisons, which means it's worse than regular poison. I want to see how much damage does Seismic Toss do. It's a bit, but it's not a lot, but if I keep using it, then it's okay, because you're just keep gonna keep using Dreamer. You still got Nightshade, and that's my issue, because you're 19 levels above me. And I think, I think this is actually ridiculous how far I've gotten, considering all my Pokemon are level 40-something, and now I've Confused Ray. Well, this is Poison, not Paralysis. Yeah. The poison, the Poison just gets worse every turn. You can't confuse me twice. Okay, now I would love to kill it or get a crit. Nope. I can't really do anything with a crit. Okay, come on. Well, Grabber's dead, so... Why do I even try? <laughs> it just happens. Uh... Moopy's gonna come into play next... Next, uh... Next trainer. Uh... Speed V, let's see if you can do it. Uh... Thunder. You missed. And now you talk to him. This is great. Except you're faster than him, but... Okay, come on, Thunderbolt, we can do this! Seriously, this is the last Pokemon, we got this. If you- Oh no! And you're gonna use another Super Potion, aren't you? <laughs> Thunderbolt, and crit this time. Seriously, the crit will just win. Yes! One, it, was not, it wasn't the crit, but okay. 2442. So we defeated Agatha! And, yes, we have defeated three of the four Elite Four! Run along now, child! Anyway, the game kind of auto-walks. Should I have saved? Nah, it stopped you. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> For a second I was back, I was like... <gasps> okay. So anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time when we will finish the game. See you kids then.